Hello Shooters and Airsofters! It's been a while since I created a video for the for my channel so now this is a different setup because I'm in my second home at Bulacan so so just get used to it. So anyway we're gonna review two items which is I'm not a big fan of this. This is the AIP copper pop-up chamber for high kappa and 1911 and this one is a very special one this is uh, given to me by Kuo he's one of the designers of Tokyo Marui Wii and VFC he gave me this and he wants me to review this uh, they're planning to mass produce this one he told me that this one will be uh, cheap but uh, very high quality well I'm expecting a good quality to this so let's get started so first let's look at the AIP chamber copper chamber I've heard a lot of bad things about this stuff uh, they always broke this thing because copper is not that hard material compared to brass and steel but let's see uh, anyway about the weight this is quite heavy compared to other pop-up chambers uh, yes I can compare it to the weight of um, brass chamber but brass brass is more heavier than this one mm. oh nice matte finish <laughs> you can see the machine marks oh the cool thing about this they have this it's for the 1911 so it's your option if you want to remove it and the screw this is something new this is a allen screw so yeah this is cool allen screw they're using different types of screws so you're gonna have a hard time if you don't have the allen screw you only have a screwdriver okay let's remove this Okay, so uh, they don't provide the hop arm for this one. Oh, crap. So I need to look for a hop arm for this. So we can start the video. So we're gonna try to match this one. This is Kuo's design. A cool barrel. Uh, in this barrel, they provided a hop-up rubber. This is, this is a very smooth rubber. And this one, this barrel, uh, he told me that this is plated or coated this is brass if I'm not mistaken and the cool thing about this the hop up rubber it's the same design with maple leaf I don't know if they're also gonna provide this when they release this product but let's see in the future mm. nice he also provided a cute eye key. The eye key is made of rubber. Kidding. I'm just gonna get a hop arm for this. Okay, we got a hop. Uh, what you call this? Hop arm, hop nub. Oh, damn. We also don't have a hop up wheel. So, if we're gonna buy this copper chamber, you need to scavenge this wheel and this one. The hop up adjustment arm I don't know how what they call it so let's remove this one AIP next time provide it <laughs> the good thing about AIP there are very affordable in the products but mm, about the copper chamber I, I'm not a big fan of this one we all know copper is not that hard metal compared to other metal um, I heard a lot of my friends using this before and they break their chambers. That's why I'm avoiding copper chamber. The price of this one is a little expensive compared to other brands like KF but compared to uh, Airsoft Masterpiece Gunsmith Bros or Nova. This is much cheaper. Anyway, we already removed the wheel, so we can place this. Now let's 
Let's try this one. Hmm, nice to be. Okay. This one, I'm not a big fan of this. So, for me, there, there is no use for this one. So, I'm just gonna remove this. Let's try it. Oh my God. Wait, let's compare the brass chamber and the copper chamber. Anyway, before we compare it, let's try to insert this one. Oh, nice! Take a look at this. There is almost um, there is only a very little play Very little play The fitting of this one for uh, advanced frame of 1911 is very good. Let's try it at week This a week <laughs> this is the only 1911 that I have or gun that I have in here <laughs> Oh dance Anyway, let's compare it to the brass chamber so you can see the difference. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not that organized. There we go. Anyway, here is my setup versus this one. Okay, uh, the video is in the got interrupted, but anyway. This is it. I already installed the copper chamber. Let's try to install it. Or let's try to put the slide. Hmm. I see. Looks like it doesn't fit that well. Looks like I need to do a little modification for this one. I need to grind it a little so it will fit. See this one? There's a little gap. So I have no chance to fit this. It's thick. Yeah. Too bad. So for this one, so if I want to install this, I need to grind this one. But uh, sad part, I cannot grind it because this is not mine. This is for my customer. He just let me borrow it. Oh damn, this is suck. I guess I need to find another barrel for this. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> I find one! Uh, this is a 4.3 original high kappa barrel. So let's try it. Mm-hmm. Something funky with this one. Yeah. So this is not a drop in fit, that's for sure. So I need to do a little modification for this if I want to fit this one on my gun. So <laughs> so I'm sorry guys, I cannot try this one. I need to fit this before we can try this. Um, before I end the video, I'm gonna show you something with this. Uh, you can see the machine marks. There is some machine marks here, here, here. Not that best quality, but on the ramp. Yeah, the ramp is good. I'm sorry guys, you cannot file this because it's not mine. That's it for the chamber. So if you don't want to bother yourself for the modification, 
I guess don't don't get this one if you don't know what you are doing. But I guess if you uh, if you know how to file, you just need to file it, file it a little, so it will fit your gun. Let's see. Again, yeah, doesn't sit that well. This character is a gap. Don't know which part is hitting it, but you need to grind it. So it will fit. Maybe on this part, this one, this part. You need to grind this one a little so it will fit. So, but that's it. <laughs> For the copper chamber, that's it. There is a lot of problems on this, maybe this a lemon or something, but there is a little modification for this one. So I guess I'll just gonna continue the review in the of inner barrel. This one. So that's guys, let's do something uh, funny for this vid. I'll gonna hammer this chamber, this two chamber, the brass chamber and the copper chamber, and let's see what will happen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Sorry, customer. <laughs> 15 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. For the bonus, 20. 20 slabs. <laughs> Let's see. See those marks? We can see the hits of the first marks. This is not as hard as other materials. So versus to this one, this is the brass one. Looks like nothing happened to this one. Yeah, there's a, a little mark. I slammed this 20 times and I already using this for a long time, but I have no problems with it. So... Let me show it to you. See that marks? So... So, if you're planning to spend your money, better to spend it in a better product sorry AIP I love your products except for the chamber so that's it guys I hope you like the video and I hope you learned something from this so anyway um, this is not the actual test so so I can still judge the product but sorry I can't trust this product <laughs> I really can't